Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel today. I'm super super excited to be showing you this Disney Illy Forever doll. She is the one inspired by Tiana so that's really really cool because uh, actually I think she is uh, my favorite uh, princess. Um, so yeah I really wanted to get this one. Also I think she's one of the most popular ones because uh, her face is like super super pretty so yeah. And uh, this is for ages 3 and up. This is supposed to be like a Disney bounding kind of doll line. So that's really awesome. Really um, up to date with what uh, like adults and kids tend to do in the parks. So that's really awesome. And um, we already have like the little thing here that says that there's a surprise there on the inside of the balloon. Sorry for the glitter right there <laughs> but here we have the artwork for Tiana and here's the logo for this line so there it says Disney Illy forever and uh, oh here it says inspired by Tiana and um, yeah uh, Disney Illy forever style for you and we have a picture of the doll right here so she looks really really cute with all her accessories on here in the back we have uh, again the logo we have some drawing some balloons a little donut and yeah more things and we also have this really cool picture that shows all the girls in this first wave that i really really hope that we get a lot more of these because they are really really cool i really want cinderella she's like super super pretty in my opinion so i'm really excited to have her at some point <laughs> but um yeah here it says show off the tiana in you with disney illy forever and here we have another picture of the doll inspired by Tiana <laughs> and yeah I think that's basically it here on the side we have another artwork um, of Tiana she looks super super beautiful right there and I think that's basically it for the box so now we're going to get her out so that we can check her out up close okay so here she is out of the box and first we're going to check out all the accessories that she came with so first we have her backpack as you can see it is this light yellow color it's really really cute and we have uh, Tiana's signature flower right there. We have a little zipper painted on here on the front. And uh, there's another one. And the I think the backpack, you can actually open it up just a little bit, but the plastic is like super hard. So there's not that much that you can put uh, inside of it. And we have this handle right here, which is brown. Then we have the straps, which are brown. And they are some kind of suede material, so. Yeah, they look really, really cool and uh, the doll can totally use that but we're going to uh, put that backpack with the rest of the accessories at the end. So here we have this jacket. Um, as you can see we have some pockets here on the front and we have some uh, green buttons there which is a really nice detail. Uh, there's not actual like pockets or anything like that, it's just like the little flap but I think it's a really, really cute piece. So yeah, there you can see how it looks. And uh, the the leaves are like really wide here at the cuff, but then this part is like gathered. So yeah, they look really cool. And uh, as you can see, the, the jacket is pretty short. So yeah, a really cute piece. We have this, um, I don't know, uh, hydro flask or no, that's not it. Uh, I don't know, container. Uh, it is purple or metallic and the cap is uh, a purple color but it's like more of a solid color compared to the metallic one. We have Naveen there blowing a kiss which is a really really cute detail. Uh, as you can see the image is pixelated which is kind of weird for a Disney product because I don't know I guess um, in my head like this is like the, the top tier of uh, toys but I guess not. <laughs> so uh, here we have the last thing which is the balloon as you can see it is this kind of uh, minty color and we have this Mickey on the middle <laughs> yeah it is green and we have like the actual Mickey face there on the center um, there's a little handle so that it all can hold it I don't know if she is able to hold it because this thing is like super heavy so I guess I'm going to open this up right now so that we can check out what we have on the little balloon oh so we have a checklist if I'm not wrong so here's the checklist so here we have the Ely forever logo and we have all these different little snacks that we can get 
so yeah they look really cool i really like these ones like the the lollipop ones and the popcorn that's really cool and um yeah here we have the um, the actual surprise so we have a plate i think yeah and um oh we have i don't know is this supposed to be like a pancake or something like that um and we have some whipped cream and some strawberries it's a really cute uh accessory and here we have the the little wrapping paper so this is how it looks it has a bunch of little logos for the line so now we can totally try and put the little balloon on her hand so um she does not come with a stand so it will be a little bit tricky to balance her um i don't think she's going to hold it or maybe let's see yeah there you can see yeah she's holding it so yeah she can totally do that but we're going to remove it um because i'm going to show you the rest of the doll <laughs> so she has brown eyes and uh yeah her face is like super super pretty there you can see their inside eyes so they're really shiny her eyebrows are brown and we have brown hair of course we have these little bangs uh, that are like really really gelled they're on the the front but you just need to brush that out uh, or like wash it or something like that and um, yeah she has little holes on her ears because there's some of the fashion packs that come with earrings and uh, there you can see the lips are um, chipped as you can see which is pretty sad but I guess I'm going to have to paint them again but yeah in general I really really love the way her face looks she's really really cute and uh, yeah then we have her ears which are, are of course inspired by Tiana so they are like super glittery and they're green and we have the little flower there on the middle so pretty cool and uh, we have the same finish here on the back and she has two pigtails as you can see uh, they're a little bit like wonky but maybe that's because of the the packaging and stuff it's supposed to look something like that <laughs> i don't know um yeah it looks kind of weird so now we have the outfit so first we have this top which says new orleans and as you can see it is purple and uh it is an off the shoulder kind of top which i think is really cute and we have some velcro here on the back then we have the skirt which as you can see has some lily pads and yeah a bunch of different flowers that's really really cute the background is black and we have some suspenders and some little uh, gold buttons there on the um, waistband and uh, I think this part has velcro as well yeah you can see that um, we also have this little bracelet which is beaded and we have some kind of little uh, charm right there and she has these shoes which look like fans in my opinion uh, well a combination between vans and converse I guess <laughs> and yeah they're just light a really really light um, like lavender color and yeah really cute uh, in terms of the articulation she can move at the head from side I think yeah she can totally tilt her head she can move it up and down and move it side to side it's a little bit loose on mine I don't know why but yeah we have uh, articulation at the shoulders at the elbows and as you can see it is like a, some kind of click joint right there we have uh, the wrists then uh, we have the hips and the knees there's like a double joint right there and as you can see her underwear is green and uh, we have ankle articulation and we can take a look at the feet of the doll which are um, I think they have a little incline if I'm not wrong maybe maybe not no they're just flat feet as you can see but I guess uh, if they have this articulation they can probably wear heels but I think these have like a little incline on the inside of the shoe that you can see so that's quite interesting so I guess the only thing that is kind of like an like, like a downside is that uh, the legs are like not that possible because if you lift the skirt there you can see if I move the leg up there you can see it starts going to the sides so yeah and it actually like comes off uh, if I'm not wrong like 
yeah there you can see it totally comes off which is uh, like safe in my opinion because um, there's like no risk of the doll like I don't know breaking or something like that but at the same time I really wish we could like get them to sit because this is like as far as they're going to sit which is not terrible I guess um, it kind of works but at the same time uh, I don't know like a full-on sitting position is kind of not possible in this stall line so yeah and if you want to yeah they, they can see what happens if you want to like sit them like fully I guess you can yeah yeah let's let's just say that they're not made for being uh, on a sitting position <laughs> So yeah, now let me go ahead and put the jacket on and the um, little backpack so that we can end the video. Okay, so here she is with all the accessories on and uh, I'm holding her because her ankles are like kind of weak <laughs> for her, for them to hold all the things that she has on. So I put the jacket on, as you can see, it looks really, really cute. It fits her pretty well. I put the little container on her hand so it looks really cute i put the little balloon on the other hand and i put the um, backpack here on the back of course <laughs> so yeah i think she is a really really cute doll um i think she is a little bit uh on the simpler side compared to other dolls i would say the reason why i got her specifically is because i really love her face but um I don't know maybe if she was another character and she and if she didn't have this face uh, maybe I would have gotten another one because yeah I think she's cute but not uh, cute enough for me to justify buying her <laughs> so yeah I think there's like some other dolls that are like from this line that are like way prettier and yeah uh that's my opinion i guess you can tell me in the comments down below what you think about this doll again this is the little surprise that we got um it's a really cute piece and uh, in general i think the pieces are really nice the clothes are i would say it's standard like on this one uh they're really standard like this is like barbie fabric all the way this one as well is basically just barbie fabric and this is barbie extra fabric <laughs> so yeah like there's not that much of a um, difference compared to some other dolls like again the face is what totally sells this doll at least for me in my opinion um and the ears are like super cute as well um the hair is really soft so i like that as well and uh yeah um again tell me in the comments down below what do you think about this new doll line and uh if you have any of them if you have any of the fashion packs um i really, really wish they came with a doll stand because yeah she's like constantly trying to fall but yeah that's it for this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe activate the little bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a new video follow me on my instagram and my tiktok those links will be always in the description box down below and i'll see you in the next one bye